Good evening, everybody. Good evening. What an experience. 700 meetings, 13 years. And we're still going strong. Friends, countries all over the world are increasingly being judged by the global public. They are being fed on a diet by the web world, by videos, by TV news, by cell phones. And our country is not far away. If those of you are not aware, we have the maximum news TV channels in the world. There's no other country has no TV channels than us. We sell 15 million cell phones in this country each month. We have 575 million cell phones in the hands of our countrymen. Which means from a Tony Chapel to a Dobie to a cart pusher to a driver to a servant to a carpenter to a painter to a mason carries a cell phone. We have the fourth largest military in the world. We have the fifth biggest economy in purchasing power in the world. We are no more the land of kings. We are not fakirs who sleep on a bed of nails. And we are not snake charmers anymore. We have progress to mathematical geniuses, computer wizards, and software gurus. And the world says that we are on the journey to become a superpower. But we are super poor in something called soft power. And you know what the soft power? Is how you can articulate your power in communication to the world. And that's what Toastmasters is all about. We come to the Toastmasters meeting. Why do we ever come here? Why do we come here? Communication. Communication. Can somebody define communication for me quickly? Giving a message. Giving a message. Expressing your thoughts to another person. And just master's language. Better thinking, better listening, and better speaking. Week after week, we have to be telling ourselves that's why we come here. And friends, we come here to develop our knowledge sharpen our skills, which God has given us, and better our attitudes. And that's what builds confidence, and we are ready for the soft power to challenge the world. 700 meetings 13 years ago, we were four of us, the good, the bad, and the some new members to come and join this movement so that we can have a constructive meeting and to come back and see 13 years later I think we've got a brand which we have built for Bangalore Toastmasters talk to all those past presidents this club has brought in a government, a district government this club has, has lieutenant governors. This club has area governors. This club has mentored multiple clubs in the city of Bangalore. And I think we are second to none. And looking at 13 years later, what a spirit of achievement. So I think all our members and our past presidents, they deserve something which costs you nothing. What is it? Meeting started bingo, 
and Sumitra Mohan and she, you know, she's an icon of confidence and power and bubbly and she came in here and she started off and she spoke about the fairer sex, she spoke about Benjamin Franklin and to me you know, she was looking absolutely beautiful but she was radiant and she was shining like a shooting star. You know that is Sumi, I can't see her. So well, she's done a job and she's gone away. <laughs> so she, you know, she's, she's an outstanding Toastmaster then, right? <laughs> anyway, so you saw, so let's give her a big hand for a good performance. <laughs> then we, we got the president, the uh, acting president to repulse. The president is the brand ambassador. So when it comes to speech, when it comes to stage, I think the Pavas is a wonderful speaker. You know, uh, some of those lovely girls said that I've seen you on the net. And, you know, I thought Pavas, your voice was very low. Your content was excellent. You know, your content, your form, your style, everything is good. But when your voice is so low, you know, you don't come here very often. You know, very, very important. So as a president, and next point number two, no president should leave this lecture without speaking of Dr. Ralph Smedley. 1924, Santa Ana, California, 9,500 clubs all over the world, several hundreds of thousands, multiple, or millions of people are members of the Toastmasters movement. That's your birthright. And you come and stand. Because for the new guests or the guests who have come here, they need to get the vitamin or the pill of what Toastmasters is all about. Right, so that is very, very important. So the, the feedback session, friends, I don't, I'm not judging the person. What's unique in the Toastmasters movement is you give a feedback to even the president. You dare to give a feedback even to the governor because that's what they say is the breakfast of champions. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. So we tell the person or the speaker their weaknesses and the strengths so they can become a better person when they speak the next time. Passion was flowing. He called the secretary, Sunil Kaman. Again, Sunil, you're a handsome young man doing MBA. When you come to the stage as a secretary, take your inhibitions. They say, don't raise ghosts and leave it there. You got to slay them. Kill the ghosts in you. You should kill the fear in you. So when you come in as a secretary and stand, when you come in as a president, as a brand ambassador, when you stand, you need to do it with authority. You know what I mean? That's why it's going to distinguish you from the boys. The men from the boys. But I can tell you, powers, secondary, is the soft power in the making. For the Toastmasters, let's give them a big hand. <laughs> My word, master of ceremony, so much shaker. He came in like, like an aeroplane. He started off with all the power. He went even to such an extent, he said, our oh, co-founders, they were. Let's <laughs> Yeah. 